Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions to the Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter of Mall Juicy. You got in the way of my it's juice. So and I think we're supposed to have Patreon and follow us official Twitter account. And today we're reacting to another new trailer that just came out. Wow, you just flipped right by today. And today. There it is. Uh, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? A trailer? A new trailer? A new trailer? And it's called Section 375. Oh, I thought you said sex in Section 375, which would be like uh, up in the air. So, kind of like Article 15. Right. I'm yes. guessing it's about something. Um, but somebody had to sub it for us because there were no subs. So and that you. often happens here? V? No idea what it's about. I'm guessing it's about section. And, and yeah, three, do you know 70, what is section 375? Five. I'm betting we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Here right. we go. Bet you're right. Go, boy, go. Super. The guy has already got a budget. It's not looked in. Ek. A source of fairly sexually active tea. No. The devolution was also. So why does that matter? Film Rohan Javi Khurana ne ek pichle bar ki junior costume assistant Anjali Vasudev Dangle kar rahe kya? Tell me all the facts. Main yahan sab bata dunga. Lekin court mein kuch accept nahi karunga. Tumhe kaise present karna hai wo mere pe chhod do. आप मिस्टर खुराना के कमरे में गई क्यों थी मेरे को जबरदस्ती लेके गई थी उठा के धक्का देख खींच के कैसे फिंगरनेल्स क्रेपिंग्स आर कंसीडर्ड कंक्लूसिव एविडेंस जिसमें तो फिंगरनेल्स का सेक्शन खाली है ऑब्जेक्शन डिफेंस काउंसिल अंजलि डालिया की इनर थाइस की इंजरी मार्क्स की बात भूल रहे हैं दे कुड बी मार्क्स ऑफ अग्रेसिव सेक्स डिफेंस काउंसिल के पास कहानियां तो बहुत सारी हैं पर एविडेंस के नाम पर कुछ भी नहीं इतना सब कुछ होने के बाद तुम वापस गई रोहन खुराना के घर वो भी दो बार अकेली शी वाज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग टू बी रेप योर ऑनर्स According to Section 375 of the IPC, consent or permission, दोनों जरूरी हैं। अजय भट्ट ने मुंबई एक जुट हुआ है अपनी बेटी के लिए। अब देखना ये है कि इस देश की जुडिशरी क्या मुख्य बनाती है। ये evidence tainted है और ऐसी tainted evidence किसी भी court में allow नहीं की जा सकती। सिर्फ technical grounds पे एक case जीत कर कैसा लगेगा? You think justice will be done? We're not in the business of justice. आपकी इसी सोच की वजह से मैंने आपका चेंबर छोड़ा था। Just think it out. Never ask me that question. The man is a convicted rapist, sir. कि आज के माहौल में it's not correct to defend him. Convicted rapist का भी constitutional right है कि उन्हें proper legal defence मिले। Defense will prove that this case is a classic example of a woman using as a weapon the very law that was made to protect her. What is uh, that? What is that trying to convey? Well, clearly, it's it's the first and foremost. It's saying it's based on true incidents. Yeah. No. 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 Um, the the woman is defending the the female the female attorney, attorney the defense to, attorney to the woman to the woman or she's the prosecuting attorney sorry she's the prosecuting attorney prosecuting the guy the, guy, the director that, saying that raped he raped her. her so she's the prosecuting attorney he's the defense attorney for the man accused of rape well, I guess is a, a film director this is and, very, this is this is gonna be hard to watch of course yeah it's very like like very pinkish it's very reminiscent of pink um, but. Also very interesting, because <laughs> as much as we don't want it, the fact that they're going after, like they're they're focusing on the defense attorney trying to defend somebody who's an awful person and saying he deserves under the Constitution mm -hmm. that defense, which is true. Mm -hmm. He does. Even the awful people deserve the right to a uh, they, defense. Right. They get it, and sometimes they get just court assigned attorneys. Even if we don't want them to, correct? They do, right? Um, they can be found in the act. 
and 25 witnesses, they're still gonna have a trial. So that's why it's interesting. It's also a very fine line that they're gonna have to toe. Yeah, <laughs> and yes, that opening sequence. So first of all, the trailer itself is a powerful trailer. Very I thought. powerful trailer. Very really powerful, powerful trailer. trailer. I loved the editing and I loved the use of the score and the sound to convey strong, hard, concrete impact. Mm -hmm. uh, made me, but the subject matter would make me want to see it too, especially since it's based on true incidents. But at the very beginning when she was being questioned, and I saw you from my peripheral, you know, you had the, what does it even matter, right? Yeah. But those, those are the kinds of questions. It's one of the reasons why so many women, uh, it's one of the reasons why so many women do not report rapes. Yeah. It's because they've heard about what happens when you do and how you're treated from the moment you file all the way up to the end. And that you are asked the kinds of questions that are first of all, insulting with no grace and no sensitivity and you are then also treated as if you know uh, maybe this did or this didn't happen maybe you know this 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 cold callous in what has been something i can only imagine is the most traumatically horrific nightmarish event you could ever have happen to you as a human being yeah i find things i don't find anything more aberrant than this subject matter and as i know as every man should should uh it's just antithetical to everything that's right about life. <laughs> yeah, it's abhorrent. Yeah, uh, and uh, to to think about an attorney having to defend somebody where he would know definitively that, that he's that, terrible, that he's, but he's having to defend him. Right, because it isn't about, that line is 100% truth. Yeah. It's not about justice, it's about law. And that's why it's so interesting to me, because like we've said in the past, in film, I, I don't wanna just see good people have stories told. Correct. I need to see truth, the truth told. Yeah, because the truth is the good guy doesn't always win. And also, people have to defend evil people. Right. And they and have people, to do it like they're supposed to. And people who've had evil things done to them uh, not only don't get justice, they're treated as if they're the evil one. Yeah. And Which, so that's why it's so interesting to me because to have to, like, let's say you have to defend Hitler in court if he had survived, let's say if he ever went to court. Right. You'd have to defend Hitler. Some attorney would have to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't envy that. <laughs> uh, thankfully, he killed himself. Um, but you'd, somebody would have to defend him and do it according honorably. To, according and, to law. According to law. Um, <laughs> and so that's why it's so interesting because it's, it's a situation nobody wants to be in. I would hope. I would hope. Yeah. yeah but, I mean, but I do believe, and this may be the kind of attorney, I do believe there are attorneys who believe that the that justice itself will be served at a higher level whether it's karma whether it's sowing and reaping yeah. whether it's just that's why i think it'd be so hard to be a defense attorney yeah i think it would be incredibly hard because you really have to have a belief that your job is doing what you're doing is right in and of itself and that the ultimate goal of justice isn't your responsibility and for me i have too strong of a barometer of justice and right and wrong to, uh, I, in no way, shape, or form, no way, no way could I defend someone who I knew when I was going into the courtroom, I was defending a guy that I knew did the rape. Wouldn't happen. Yeah. I mean, and if I was told I have to, I'll be held in contempt of court, I'd say, okay, great, how many meals a day am I getting? Put me in jail. Mm -hmm. Not defending that fill in the blank. So, yeah, but I, I also... That's why it looks like such an interesting thing because of the questions it's giving us. Exactly, and because of that, yeah, I think you'll agree. I'd like to play oh, yeah. a defense attorney who has to do that and grapple with Put that yourself reality. in that uh, reality. Especially if it's a true story about a defense attorney who doesn't have a problem sleeping at night. I don't know if that's this guy's case, yeah. but there are defense attorneys who don't have a problem. They can go to bed at night knowing they, they won the case, congratulate each other at the firm, and what they did was let a rapist go. And they're okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. It's a great concept for a film. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where it's from. I want to figure out uh, what type of film it is, but... Um, Let's see. It, maybe it is a Bollywood drama. Sorry. If, um, if yeah, I, if, yeah it. if it is. Well, it was Hindi. Yeah, it was. So, so maybe it is. So yeah. Maybe I was misinformed. Uh, a celebrated Bollywood director. Wow, wait a minute. I'm just realizing, duh. This is based on true events. Um, a celebrated Bollywood director, Rohan Kurana, stands accused by a member of his female crew, Anjali Dangal of having raped her at his residence. Um, Yikes. Yeah. Don't know that story. Uh, uh, this is gonna be hard to sit through, man. 
new director. He's only done two things. <sighs> well, good for you, AJ Ball. He also That's wrote wonderful. it. At least in film or, or TV and everything. That's the whole IMDb credit. Yeah, it looks like two. That's crazy. Yeah, this is one of those movies I'll force myself to watch because I know the content will be riveting and it's an important story. And it's important to force yourself to sit through things that other people didn't have the choice to sit through. Yeah. You know, if this is a true story about this woman, she didn't, she didn't have the choice as to whether or not this would happen to her and have to go through it. And at least I can do is spend two hours listening to her story and being uncomfortable, you know? The, the, the girl is from Gangs of Wasipur and mm. Ram Leela. The attorney? Yeah, it looks like the attorney. Um, I'm very interested in this. Maria Chopra. It reminded me so much of Pink, but this, this seems... Maria Chopra? Uh, this this uh, seems, uh, from the trailer, a little bit dirtier, grittier, edgier, harder, mm -hmm. rougher, uh, gets you an even angrier. Yeah. Um, and we don't know how it'll all end and tie up. But yeah, because we don't know the story, so you yeah. guys probably And for those of you who don't do, tell do, us. Yeah, do us a favor. You guys have been so beautiful in not spoiling stuff. Love you so much for not doing that. So if you can... Just let us know what you know in regard to, yes, it's a true story, it's based on this. Please don't tell us how it ended, like the result of the case and things of that nature. And then hopefully this is going to get a large enough attention that it will be distributed to more than one theater 25 hours away from yeah, us. Yeah, we'll see because it, it doesn't look like it has any big stars I in know, it. And I know, I so know. And a first-time director. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you thought of it. Um, Looks awesome. Uh, I mean, well, it looks looks good, like good art. And, uh, and forgive <laughs> us if we're missing the fact that these two lead actors are actually pretty well established and known, and we don't know them yet. Awesome. We want to know more about these. He's from these Ugly. Actors. I saw the uh, yeah Ugly. Uh, that's the only one I noticed. But so you let us know. Yeah, let us know more about it. Uh, looks good. Yeah.